Alrighty then, how's it going everyone? My name is Derek Twiggo, uh, DJDK Digital on YouTube, and um, Derek Twiggo on Vimeo. And um, in this video, I wanted to do a tutorial for you on how to create a simple and minimalistic um, website design. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that in this video, and let's get started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Photoshop here, and it's going to create a new document. And I like to use dimensions of 960 pixels wide and 800 pixels um, tall for height. And um, white is okay for root background. Just click OK. And um, just go like that. And now what I like to do as soon as I do that is I like to um, take a few guides and drag them to each side of my document. So I drag one to this edge here. And I drag one to my right edge as well. And then I go to image and I go to canvas size and I like to expand my width of my canvas to 1680. Now I have a weird color here so I'll just go ahead and do that. Command delete for my background color white to fill it in. Now if you look out here you can see I have a 1680 pixel wide canvas and um, it's still 100 pixels tall. So this gives me a little more margin on the um, left and right sides here. So what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to, um, what we're going to work on here is we're just going to build like a really simple design. So what I'm going to do is um, I like to start with a nice gray background. And so to do that, I'm just going to go ahead and select, um, go in here. Um, I generally use F5 as my color. Because that's just a slightly off white, kind of light gray. Oops, and um, there we go. And you can hardly see that, but if you were to take your brush coat and you were to paint white on top of that gray, you would see that there is a little bit of a difference in color there. Uh, so yeah. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now, after I fix what I just did here, is um, what we're going to do now is we're going to work on the header. <clears throat> and so to do the header, what I like to do is I like to, um, I just like to make my, I like to put my logo and a navigation in there. And we're going to do this and we're going to center these items here in this document. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my type tool and I'm going to use a font called Aller. Uh, and you can see that in here, Aller. And I just like to type my name. Um, all is one word in lowercase letters, Derek Twiggo. Select that, and let's make it visible. And something a little closer like that. And I like to make it, um, I just like to just to use my last name in bold and keep my first name regular. And then I'll select that and just go ahead and make it probably about 30 pixels wide. Something like that. And um, for styling, I like to actually change the color here to something a little more like a, a green, generally. Or a teal, depends on what kind of color you like. But generally, though, I'll go for like a tealy green kind of color, like that. And then I'll add a gradient overlay. <clears throat> and I'll go ahead and reduce the opacity. And I'll go ahead. So it's about 14% there. And finally, I like to add a drop shadow. And for my drop shadow, I use 90 degrees with no global light. And I set my mode to normal. And then it's kind of difficult to see, but it's fair. And um, size is zero, distance is one, and it's fair. Um, I might reverse my gradient here. I think that's a little bit closer and a little bit better. And just for added effect, what I think I'm going to go ahead and do here is I'm going to reduce this just a little bit more, like my background color here. So I think that's really going to let us show that. 
Try even more. There we go, just like that. You can see now, I have a nice stroked area, and we're just going to use white now and create a new layer right above our background. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to the gradient here and just go from white to transparent. And um, let's pull this down a little bit. And reduce the opacity. And you can see if you look really hard, I'm not sure you can see it in the video, but there's a nice subtle gradient there. And that just adds to the effect of the website. So, and I also like to take the opportunity to add a little bit of noise using this here too. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Filter, noise, and add noise. And it's, um, yeah, I apologize if you can't see it too well, but it's, let's go ahead and go for 60. We'll do 40. But, um, it's there. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to add some navigation. We've completed our logo, and, um, you can make any final adjustments you want to that if you're not sure about the color or just whatever you might have hooked up with that. Um, like this is the time to do that unless you just want to wait. But I think I'm happy. And I'm going to go ahead now and create my navigation. Put this here and I'm going to select um, 14 pixels for my font size. Regular. And I'm just going to go home and set this color while I'm in here to a nice gray, I'd say, probably A3, A3, A3. And I'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 spaces. Um, portfolio. About blog. And copy those layer styles, um, copy of a drop shadow, and just paste it right onto our navigation there. Uh, there we are. And we can reuse that essentially here. And then from in here, what I'll do is I'll generally take my, um, take my next elements, I'm actually not sure about those. I don't think I'm going to remove that gradient. Mm -hmm. Huh, well, it's kind of strange. I think I'm going to make this just a little bit darker because I think it needs a little more contrast. Actually, you know what? And I apologize if this is thrown together kind of like on a whim, but. This is actually generally how I work with my designs. So we've done that there. And now what I want to do is I want to add a shadow underneath this. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a, um, a white line that's going to span all the way from one end to the other of the design. And then I'm going to go right underneath that and on a new layer, I'm going to take my brush tool and I'm going to use a um, nice gray color here. And I'm just going to just click one time right there. I'm just going to hit Command T now to transform that. And I'm going to stretch it all the way out to the edges and just pull both edges out. Make sure it's nice and even. Something just like that. Huh, but that doesn't seem to like that. So let's use a slightly larger brush. And just check our brush too here. Make sure you have a nice soft brush like this one here selected. 
There we go. Oh, yeah. Something just like this here. And now we're going to reduce the opacity. And we're going to go ahead now and take our rectangular marquee tool. And just along the very bottom of that, we're just going to just delete the shadow, what we don't need anymore. And if you look here, we can put these into a group now, just by hitting Command G. Um, add a mask to that and take our brush tool, and you'll notice that we can easily um, taper off those edges. Like, and you can make it however you want. You don't have to use white for that either. If you don't want to, you can use whatever suits you. Like, that's F3, F3, F3. That's the same color I believe I've been using here, um, that's EF, 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 but, so you can see how we can do that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and, um, move my navigation down just a little bit, just like that, just so I have just a little more spacing. Make any final adjustments now here to this header. And of course do some coat, some clean up here. It's going to take all my things here and it's going to name my group um, Shadow. And um, put all these things here into the header. And of course, we'll name this, um, put this in a group called Background. And Yeah, and so now you have um you have your header and you have your background and might as well name this um highlight and background. I'm a stickler for organization, it's very important to me. <laughs> so and I think that'll do it. I'm just gonna go ahead now and save my document just by hitting command S, go to save as, and um I'm going to go ahead and just name this um Derek Twigo underscore October 26th, 2010. And just stick it on my desktop. And just click OK for maximize compatibility. And that'll do that. And I'm going to come back to you and show you part two of this in the next video. So I hope to see you there. And thanks for watching this far.